Hey everybody. If everybody if anybody's there. Um hope y'all are doing well. This is a guinea pig session because I uh promised yesterday that I was going to share a song that I wrote yesterday. Hi Melody. Um and um, I did a quick demo of it yesterday and sent it off to a. Uh, and what I did was I first sent him the, I first sent him the j just the uh, lyric sheet, and he immediately said, "I I really like this song just from the lyrics." He said it, it sounds like a really cool, like an old folk song type song, and I I guess when I wrote it I was kind of channeling John Prine. Uh, my number one favorite songwriter of all time and the guy who probably inspired me to start writing songs back in the mid 70s after I heard his first album. But uh, I was just, I was messing around with uh, Sparky because I just got Sparky back last week um, and she, she's she got a new sound sound system, PA, to, to hook into PA. And uh, so I was messing around and, and I had just finished playing one of my other songs to see how it sounded through the sound system. And I just started playing this little uh, picking pattern with these chords. And I thought, I wonder if there are some words that go with that. And just out of the blue, all these words started coming to me. So um, it's a song called The Great Beyond. And it's probably because uh, the age where, where I've reached now, you know, you start thinking about the fact that there's more time behind you now than there is ahead of you generally when you get to a certain age. And, um, and uh, also I was thinking about other people and uh, looking, looking forward to the day that I do get to see them again whenever that day comes. So I wrote this song called The Great Beyond, and it goes pretty much like this. When I die, will you remember me? When I'm dead and gone, will you really miss me? When my last winter's come and gone, will you think of me flying to the great beyond? What will it be, my legacy? Will people say I was just okay? When my last winter's come and gone, will you think of me flying to the great beyond? Give my body, please, to folks trying to cure disease. Burn what's left of me and set my ashes free. When my last winter's come and gone, will you think of me flying to the great big up beyond? At the wake put my guitar At the end of an open bar Sing only happy tunes We'll be together soon When my last winter's come and gone Will you think of me Flying to the great beyond That's me you'll see Flying to the great beyond There you go, the new song, The Great Beyond. Uh, 
hope you like it. I, I, I don't know what's, I, I don't know if it's going to end up on a new album or not, but, uh, but it just, it came to me yesterday and usually it's been a while since a, since a song has just come up, the muse has come up and punched me in the back of the head and said, and say, here's a song. So, uh, that was kind of an exciting thing when that happened. And, uh, didn't take a whole lot of, there was one draft and then we were on to this. So, uh, hope you liked it. This is a song, uh, I wrote this song back in probably 93 or 94 and it never ended up on an album, but, um, uh, uh, a good buddy of mine, and uh, he used to, he also played with me for a while and, and went on the road with me for a few trips uh, going down south on, on a short tour. His name's uh, Neil Havener, and he was a member of, or still is a member of a band called Oswald and the Herringbones, who were really big deal in the 80s in the, in the central Ohio area, and they did a, the, a tour. Uh, they, they would tour on the college circuit, a really cool pop rock band, and I really dig their music. And he also has a band called Go Robot Go. And then he also has a thing that he calls the Neil Havener Show, where he does all his songs uh, with a really cool band behind him. Well, anyway, uh, Neil and I were on the road this one time. Uh, I think we were heading down to South Carolina. And we were going down the road, and Neil was kind of half asleep over in the passenger seat. And every once in a while, I'd, I'd see his hands going like this. And I said, I, I said, man, what are you doing? He said, well, we just went past some cows. And I was, I was waving at the cows. And, and I thought that was rather humorous. And he told me that uh, there was this guy he knew, his name was Bob, and he would wave at cows whenever he saw cows out in the pasture because he figured, you know, the cows are kind of lonely and nobody ever, ever acknowledges them, so I wave at them. So with that in mind, I wrote this song called Bob Waves at Cows. Uh, so I'll do that for you because I, I don't think I've done it for a while. I may have done it here on, uh, on One Take Tuesday a few weeks back, but I can't remember... Like my mom used to say, I've slept since then. Got a friend named Bob. He's not sure what to do. Bob's not got a real job like most folks do. Now Bob loves all God's creatures. He treats them like they're me or you. He hops in his car and drives all around, doing what he loves to do. Now Madeline's a massage therapist. She works her fingers to the bone. No one can say her life's boring. Weekend, she never stays home. She hops in her 83 Volvo, drives out into the woods, thanking the home of the animals, saves them from piles of firewood. I'm not really sure why And I'm not really sure how But Madeline hugs trees And Bob waves at cows Now we're living in a society Where folks think this is weird Walking down the street each day Thinking these people should be feared but Bob and Madeline are good people. They're just like you and me. They just show their love in different ways. One ways the cows, the other hugs trees. I'm not really sure why. I'm not really sure how. But Madeline hugs trees. And Bob waves a cow. camping and I drink milk. I eat a burger with my fries. Sometimes I chop a little firewood. Ain't gonna tell you no lies. But the next time I'm sucking on a milkshake, I give thanks to Elsie the cow. Next time I'm out in the deep, deep woods, I'll hug a tree. Cause Bob and Madeline showed me how. I'm not really sure why. Or do I know how? But Madeline hugs trees And Bob waves at cows 
Yeah, Madeline hugs trees And Bob waves a cow Oh, man, am I digging deep on these. So if you just joined us, uh, you're here. This is a guinea pig session. Um, I was glad to share that song with you in the beginning, and if you just got here, you missed it. No, th this will be recorded, so you can, you can listen to it later, the new song I just wrote. Here's a song that I wrote. It was on my first album that came out, in my, my first solo album that came out in 1993, and... Um, even though I didn't know my wife at that time, when she heard the, the album, uh, I think we were dating at the time, and a friend of mine, who was also a friend of hers, gave her their copy of, of the new album. And uh, the one time we went out on a date, she said, I love that one song on my mind, so can you play it for me? So I got to play it for her live, sitting in her living room at her apartment back before uh, we, we got together permanently. So it's a song called On My Mind from the Fool Fell album. It goes just like this. Everywhere I go, I see your face. Everywhere I turn, I think of you. You're on my mind All of the time Feeling something that I think is true You're on my mind all of the time You're in my heart Want you to be mine want to feel your love everywhere You're in my heart And I want you there These feelings inside Find hard to hide Eats at my heart Drive me out of my mind If you only knew how I feel for you You let me know that you feel it too You're on my mind all of the time You're in my heart Want you to be mine Want to feel your love everywhere in my heart and I want you there Feelings that were gone I thought I'd never feel again Feelings that were gone till I met you Now what'll I do? I feel that I love you and I'm afraid you don't feel it too You're still on my mind all of the time in my heart want you to be mine I want to feel your love everywhere you're in my heart and I want you there you're still in my heart and I'm afraid you don't care On my mind. Like I said I wrote that song before I met Wendy, and uh, it's 
That's why that last line was, uh, it was kind of a song of unrequited love at the time. Just for what it's worth. Oh, thanks, Lynn. Appreciate that. So this next song, uh, uh, I don't want to keep you guys long because this is just the, the guinea pig session. Don't, don't forget tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, um, I'll be doing my One Take Tuesday. So uh, just wanted to remind you all of that if you get out. Oh, and you know what? This evening at se it's 7 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, my good buddy John Whelan, every Monday he does Mondays with John, and he is just a, a fantastic uh, uh, Irish Irish musician. He lives out in, I think he's out in Washington State now, uh, he and his wife. And um, he does a thing called Mondays with John, and he, he does button box accordion is what John plays. John was the one who produced my Angel and the Folk Singer album. I uh, flew up to New York and lived up there for two or three weeks uh, while we recorded that album. And uh, he brought in a bunch of his buddies who became my buddies. And, um, and he's just, he's got an amazing, he, he is an amazing talent. And he also has an amazing ear for music. And I, I was just so happy and felt so proud that he, uh, he produced that album for me. And uh, he's a real good friend of mine. So check that out tonight if you get a chance, uh, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. It's called Mondays with John. John Whelan, W-H-E-L-A-N. So it's a little, little uh, commercial for you. So uh, this is a song that I wrote. I was on a TWA flight, so that tells you how long ago this was, uh, coming back from Europe. I had stayed up all night the night before. Um, I, I think I was in England before I flew home. Uh, at the time, I, w I was in England, uh, Brussels, uh, I'm sorry, England, Belgium, and uh, the north of Ireland on tour. And um, the, the last night I was there, uh, they had a big blowout party after, after the pub closed. Uh, they took us around to the back door and we went back in the pub because the front door had been locked. And um, had this blowout party and I thought, okay, well, I'll just sleep on the plane on the way home. You know, the eight hour flight, six hour flight, whatever it was. And damned if I didn't get on the plane, just settled in, had a, uh, had a bottle of a uh, little wine and started to go to sleep. And it turned out that there were like uh, 190 people on the plane and 197 of them were screaming babies or, uh, people that had never flown before. So it was a very challenging flight and I didn't get any sleep. So I sat there and wrote this song called In Flight Movie. Pigs and crazies on an overnight flight. I really doubt that I'll get any sleep tonight. Screaming babies, now what'll I do? I'll just sit here and write a song for you. I've already seen the in-flight movie. Polished off three bottles of little wine. The in-flight dinner made me nauseous. I only feel better when I realize you're mine. You know the red eye just don't cut it no more It takes me too long To get back to your door I'll have a drink or two Daydream of you I just don't know What else there is to do I've already seen The in-flight movie Polished off three bottles A little wine The in-flight dinner Made me nauseous I only feel better when I realize you're mine. It really don't matter, Delta to WA. Getting across the ocean, there must be a better way. You know it's a living. Writing and singing these songs As long as you're there waiting for me I know I can't go wrong I've already seen the in-flight movie 
polished off three bottles of little wine. The in-flight dinner made me nauseous. I only feel better when I realize you're mine. I only feel better when I realize you're mine. In-flight movie. <laughs> oh, man. I really appreciate you guys stopping in. Um, just kind of throwing some stuff around. Uh, and uh, I, I actually picked another another corner of my uh, studio. This is supposed to be my chill, my chill corner. I have a hangout room, yeah, out there, out that way, um, where there's a TV and there's some couches and the whole idea is if anybody were to come in to, to do some demo recording, um, and you needed to hang out, you go out in the hangout room, uh, while we're doing that stuff. And then over in, in this corner, uh, at the other end of the studio is my uh, business end of the, of the, uh, studio, which is, uh, horribly dis disfigured, uh, because it's all business stuff, which I'm really bad at. Uh, I think I might this, this spring, I might actually hire somebody to come in once a week or once a month to uh, file and do stuff like that. But this corner here, there, there's a bookshelf down here with a bunch of old books and uh, my old stereo, my, my uh, first turntable that I bought when I got out of high school. Uh, I still have that. And uh, I just need to get some new speakers for my stereo system. But the whole idea was I was gonna sit over here and read books and listen to my old records and stuff. But instead I've got like, three or 4,000 CDs where when I, when uh, one of my albums would be critiqued in a magazine or something, it seemed like for the next month, people would send me their CD that they, that they had just recorded and, oh, could you tell me what you think of my CD? And so I've got all these CDs from people I don't even know. Um, and occasionally I would listen to one and they'd be pretty good. And then there would be others that it was like, you know, somebody's aunt Molly told them that they were really good. So they went out and spent a thousand dollars on a CD. And so anyway, at some point in time, I'm, I'm going to have to get an actual CD rack that'll hold all those CDs so I can get my books out and put them over here and start chilling out. So I'll do this old Rodney Krause song. that's going to be on the new album. Well, I don't for this life I have found You know, keeps my feet on the ground Well, the midsummer's day it's so heavy It don't flow Like the breeze Through your mind When nothing Appears In a hurry To make up For some old Lost time Somehow I learn How to listen To the sound Of the sun going down knowing in the morning I'll be singing a song for this life I have found you know keeps my feet on the ground and somehow I've learned how to listen to the sound of the sun going down knowing in the morning I'll be singing a song for this life I have found you know keeps my feet on the ground you know keeps my feet on the ground. Song for the Life. I first heard that song um, 
a Jerry Jeff Walker mm-hmm. album back in 1973, and I just always dug that song. It says a lot about uh, where where we are, or or uh, where I am, kind of in my career now, looking backwards. Uh, actually, in my life, you know, used to be things bugged me more than they do now. Now the only thing that bugs me is these damn kids on my lawn. I'm going to do two more tunes for you, and then I'm going to be on my merry way. Uh, uh, my buddy Ezra is over in the other in the other room uh, calling me. Dylan knows what I'm talking about. I, I keep thinking that Ezra Brooks ought, ought to, like, be one of my, my main sponsors. I, I just got to tell you, I keep him in business. This is a song I wrote back in 1994, 93 or 94. My Uncle Bill down in Harrisburg, Illinois, actually had been taken to a veterans hospital in St. Louis. He was on his journey home for the final time, ravaged by cancer. My dad was going to visit him. And I was thinking about when I was 12 years old, went down to Harrisburg, Illinois to spend two weeks with my grandma and grandpa and Uncle Bill and Aunt Ramona lived right next door to them. And the the rite of passage for the Hawkins boys was when they turned 12, Whatever pickup truck Uncle Bill owned at that time, he would take him out, teach him how to drive a pickup truck on the back roads of Harrisburg, Illinois, Saline County. When I turned 12, my cousin John, Bill, Uncle Bill's son, also turned 12. And Uncle Bill had a 48 Studebaker pickup truck, so he took us out to this old back road, gravel and dirt, threw me behind the wheel and said, okay, son, get us home. Three speed on the floor, 48 Studebaker pickup truck. I'm trying to figure out what, how a clutch worked. So I'm looking down at my feet. All of a sudden I see Uncle Bill's foot heading over to the driver's side and he pushed on the brake pedal. And I looked up to see we were about six inches from going into the ditch. I think it maybe I had to drive us home. So thinking of that, I wrote this song and I put it on a little cassette take, tape. And my dad took it to the hospital, the veterans hospital, to play it for my uncle Bill. And my dad said when he got there, Uncle Bill was in a coma, laying in bed. And so my dad put the tape player up next to his ear and played this song for him. And he said a tear came down cheek of my Uncle Bill, so he got to hear the song before he passed. It's called 48 Studebaker Pickup Truck. Somewhere in a junkyard, southern Illinois, there's a 48 Studebaker pickup and the memory of two young boys. It was summer of 69, I remember it to this day. My uncle took my cousin to me on a getaway. The roads are the same, but the time it's faded. Those memories, they're still here with me. All the time in Illinois that I remember as a boy, you know, those times that mean so much to me. Now my uncle got my cousin and me in the cab of that old truck. Took us out to the back roads to try our luck. Driving the grown-ups ain't no real big deal, but for two young boys driving such a thrill. The roads are the same, but the time it's faded. Those memories, they're still here with me. All the time in Illinois that I remember as a boy, you know, those times mean so much to me. Now first gear ground and wind, my uncle's face looked pained. 
think he was saying a prayer under his breath. Which should give out first, his clutch blade or his nerves? To this day, I think he's thinking that in his head. The roads it seem, but the time it's faded. Those memories, they're still here with me. All the time in Illinois that I remember as a boy, you know, those times have been so much to me. As I travel down life's road, I can see it ain't always as smooth as it could be. With family and friends and people like Uncle Bill, I know I could travel it easily. The roads ain't seen, but the time it's faded. Those memories they're still here with me. All the time in Illinois that I remember as a boy. You know, Yeah, the time in Illinois that I remember as a boy, you know, those times mean so much to me. All right. Thanks to Uncle Bill for that song. I'm going to finish out with... Um, talking about Ezra Brooks earlier. Um, this song mentions another one of my favorites, favorite people, Jim Beam. And uh, after the after the album, my last album released, I, I should say my most recent album released in, in 2017, uh, this song apparently got around to a few different people. And uh, one day I, I got an email from uh, a representative of the Jim Beam Company asking if they could get a copy of this song because they wanted to hear it. And um, so that's been three years ago. I still haven't sent it to them because I'm not sure if, if they like the idea and they're going to say, hey, we're, we're going to give you a lifetime supply of Jim Beam, or if their attorney's going to call and say, why did you put Jim Beam in a song? So, so this is called Married to a Bottle. Oh, <laughs> in another key. You're thinking I'm drinking way more than I do. I don't think I drink quite enough to put up with the likes of you. It's another round of bourbon just to get me through the night. You curse at me and I curse at you Nothing I do is right I'm married to a bottle Keeps me sane or so it seems It's a marriage of convenience Just me and old Jim Beam Well you smiled and you told me I was your man Then you turn around and you act like You don't give a damn Well, maybe your baby Shouldn't be your man I should turn around, just walk away Baby darling, that's your plan I'm married to a bottle Keeps me sane or so it seems It's a marriage of convenience Just me and old Jim B.
I never really wanted Things to end this way I thought we'd be together For the rest of our days Now my heart's bad, it's empty As this bottle I hold I guess I'll be all alone Till the day I grow old Cause I'm married to a bottle Keeps me sane or so it seems It's a marriage of convenience Just me and old Jim B. Me and old Jim B. Well, there you have it, folks. The, um... Guinea pig session for today, and I uh, hope you, if you were here in time to hear the new song, I hope you loved it, or at least liked it, or at least don't think it sucks. I almost killed my guitar there. I, I hope you liked it. Uh, I will be playing it again tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow night, 7 p.m., One Take Tuesday, and again, don't forget tonight, uh, check out John Whelan, uh, Mondays with John, and that's, uh, I, just look Facebook, John Whelan, W-H-E-L-A-N, and uh, I think his, I think his website is either johnwhelan.com or johnwhelanmusic.com, and uh, he's just an amazing musician and a good friend of mine, and, um, and whenever I can, I try to, try to plug uh, whatever musicians I can that I remember online, you know, Mar Mary Stiers Miller is on, uh, I think every day, she does a kid's show, she's a She's a really good um, singer, singer songwriter, and and singer of old folk songs. Uh, check her out, and a bunch of other people: uh, Danny Lang, um, Dylan Christian, um, and they do that. Okay, here we go. Um, so anyway, tomorrow night, one take Tuesday, seven p.m. Same bat time, same bat channel. Y'all take care of yourselves, take care of each other, uh, love yourselves, love each other, and love the earth. And I will be back tomorrow night, and also occasionally there'll be these guinea pig sessions, whatever, I can throw those out. Okay, thank you all so much. DaveHawkins.com is my, is my site, and that'll get you to the Dave Hawkins Singer Songwriter Facebook page, and it'll also get you to um, um, my YouTube channel. So, okay, thank you all so much. God bless you all. We'll see you soon, okay? Stay safe, stay healthy. Peace out.